so pit five was in the crowd oh, yeah. and they answered questions because she was a man and woman holding hands not an uncommon gesture of love but for anthony and jane not their real names this is a gesture of reassurance of one another as they open up to us about both being gay when i was around 10 when i started getting attracted to other boys that's when i knew i was different this was for anthony the first step into a life in kenya that is lived in shadows and behind closed doors a lot of the people who are like me just decide they have to hide i do believe that there's a considerable danger to me and my person if i was to actually publicly say that yes I'm, i live in nairobi as a gay woman and this is my life but even as they are reluctant to have their identities revealed they claim that Kenyans are in denial about just how many gay people there are in the country. They often attend parties held exclusively for the gay community and the guest list is as diverse as any other. Lawyers, teachers, different professional people. We'll see a politician once in a while. I see priests, yeah, who they are, they are uh, some of our parties. But you do find a lot of people who do lead double lives who have wives at home, who have husbands. A lot of people still don't proclaim it. And even those who are openly gay, they still try to be subtle about it. Now the subject of homosexuality is controversial anywhere in the world, but especially so in Africa and in Kenya, where there's so much cultural intolerance for the subject. So why would anyone who claims that they're a homosexual choose to be one here? These are questions that I asked Jane and Anthony when I visited them a few days ago. Anthony refers back to his being abused by a close male relative as an infant. I struggled with the aspect of molestation, with the why did he pick on me? Why couldn't I discover this for myself? While Jane says she felt that way, but both defend their right to be gay. It, it cannot be my fault because I did not choose to be born me. I was born me and I have to accept everything about myself at the end of the day. We are not looking for tolerance, you see, we are looking for acknowledgement. But in a society whose moral compass is deeply religious, it's unlikely that acknowledgement will be doled out so easily. And homosexuals continue to live their lives in the shadows. John Allen Abu, KTN Prime.